Hey guys, the objective with this video is just to have a table which summarizes all the different points we've found. And then I'm going to show you the strength interaction diagram for our section. So all I've done is I've taken the point, the axial load and the moment for each of our points. So squash load, decompression, balance nominal, balance actual and the pure bending. Here's all the corresponding axial loads and all the corresponding moments. At the squash load, there's zero moment and at the pure bending, there's zero axial and all the other forces and moments we found in all the previous videos. So that's a table summarizing everything. So all you would do then is you would come to your diagram, which is moment against axial and just plot in all the points. So this looks pretty similar to what's in the code. Here's the strength interaction diagram for the code in section 10.6.2. So that's what it's going to look like. We've drawn ours here. I've drawn, drawn in all the points. So I'm going to label this. This is the squash load. This is the decompression point. This is the balanced nominal. This is the balanced actual. And this is the pure bending. Okay, so that's very simple. All you do is summarize the information, plot all the points, connect it up, make it sort of look like this. Some critical information is that the point from squash to decompression is just a linear line and you want to sort of make a curved shape here. And you also obviously want it to look sort of like this here. This is a reference. So you can see, for example, that the moment at the pure bending is less than the moment at the balance, which we can see. Yeah, you can see over there. So you want to make sure that your diagram is sort of looking like that. But there you have the strength interaction diagram, which plots axial against moment for our section and for the example we have done. Anyway, guys, I hope all these videos have helped. Um, I've done pretty comprehensively everything you need to know. We've gone through all the different points. Um, I've even done quite a complicated section with three layers.